honey badger. We have another little two-part workout. We have three rounds for time of 60 penguin jumps, 20 V-ups, 20 object goblet squats. After the third round, you're gonna rest four minutes. Then you are going four time, one round. We're putting it all together. We're going 180 penguin jumps, 60 V-ups, 60 object goblet squats. For version two, we are replacing the penguin jumps with 60 double unders or 90 single unders in the first part and 180 double unders or 270 um, single unders in the second part. And we are replacing the goblet squats with dumbbell power cleans for version number two. For version number three, you're going same thing as version number two, except now we're replacing the V-ups with toe to bar and we are replacing the dumbbells with a barbell, okay? So penguin jumps, what I want those to look like is hands are going to be on our quads right? While our feet are in the air, we need to tap our quads once if we're trying to practice the cadence for single unders, twice if we're trying to practice the cadence for double unders, okay? So you're going to be in the air and you're just going to tap or for double unders, right? Nice and easy. And then we're going to go uh, 20 V-ups. So Back is going to be far on the ground. Legs are going to be together. Legs nice and straight. You're going to try to get, lift your shoulder blades up off the ground and touch your toes. Every single rep. Whew. Those never get easier. And then you're going to take your odd object. You're going to put it right under your chin and you're going to give me goblet squats. Make sure that every single rep we're sending our hips and our butt back to initiate the rep. We're keeping our core tight, keeping our chest up, and we're driving those knees out every single rep, okay? Then we have double unders or single unders for version number two and version number three. Now, when we have a jump rope, we always wanna ensure elbows are nice and tight to the body, hands are slightly out in front of us, right? Our feet are together. Now. I want us to try to control, have a nice big jump and control the movement of the rope or the speed of the rope if we are doing single unders, right? Because if we have a nice big jump and we're controlling the speed of the rope, then all we have to do to go from single unders to double unders is change the speed of our rope, speed up our rope, then boom, we got it, right? So elbows out in front, hands out in front, her elbows tight, and then we're controlling that jump, controlling the speed of the rope. Now I can take this jump, speed up my rope, and go right into double unders once you're ready to practice. Okay, then we have dumbbell power cleans. So power clean is from the ground to shoulder, okay? Not overhead. So we're sending the hips and the butt back we're jumping those dumbbells up to our shoulders, sending the back head onto our shoulder and getting our elbows up out in front of us, right? Our feet go from a jumping position to a squatting position and we catch those dumbbells in that quarter squat. Every single rep, be sure to reset your feet every single time. Now for version number three, we got toe to bar, okay? If we are going to do toe to bar, be sure what I would do in the warm up is do a few scap um, pull ups just to uh, warm up that lat a little bit because you want to kind of try to perform a scap pull up when you send your upper body back behind the bar. Make sure that we're getting our upper body behind the bar enough to give ourselves room to get our toes up to that bar. Okay, and then we have barbell power cleans. So that bar is gonna start right up against your shins. You're pushing through the floor with the balls of your feet, squeezing your butt and jumping that bar up to the shoulders. Try to get those elbows nice and high every single rep. And just like the dumbbell power cleans, start with your feet in a jumping position and we land in a squatting position and then reset your feet every single rep. 
you can either go stringing three to six reps together every single set or um, just quick singles, something that you can move very, very, very consistently. Okay, get after it.